Millions of people face and fight depression daily, only to find themselves running around in circles by having to rely strictly on prescribed medication for their healing and health. Because depression can cause fear and inactivity, its intent is to make you motionless by keeping your mind occupied on negative thoughts and things meant to slow you down. However, a UCLA research study shows that drugs aren't the only treatment, or in most cases, the best treatment. There's a newfound method working its magic and getting results. It's why many are singing a new tune saying, goodbye depression and hello to progression. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Experience the Groove to Improve Your Life channel. Once again, I want to thank you guys for your subscribes, your likes, and your comments. Know that I will answer everyone, so keep them coming, keep them coming. What's the method? UCLA found in their survey to fight against depression. It's an age-old remedy called exercise. That's right, you must get physical, dance, run, swim, walk, or do whatever works for you. What this does is release feel-good endorphins that motivate you to want to do more. And of course, healthy eating goes right along with it. What does healthy eating have to do with it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Depression can cast a dark cloud over your life. And one way to do that is to put a damper on your mood through your eating habits. If it can keep you in a funk, a depressed mood by tempting you to eat junk food like salty chips and sugary soda, known to deplete your energy and provide little to no nutritional value, then mission accomplished. When more nutritious, mood-enhancing options would be to trade in those chips for a prepared salad and soda for one of my favorite energy-boosting drinks, sparkling water. <laughs> Yet, Here's the controversy. Some people are saying that exercise and diet doesn't work because there's more to the equation when it comes to depression. I say sure, there are many reasons why people may be depressed. However, I believe everything has a root and a cause. And if you want to groove to improve out of depression, you must take action and figure out that cause. Because depression is a sly fox. And like I stated previously, its trick is to keep you motionless. Because it knows that you have the groove power to make change happen. And it doesn't like it. Nevertheless, you will remain dormant unless you find the motivation to get up and groove. I know this from first-hand experience because in 2016 I had two major surgeries within a six-month radius. I'll share more details about them in upcoming videos. However, I could have easily slipped into a deep-set depression had I not had a plan. Physically, it consisted of daily workouts and healthy eating. Mentally, I surrounded myself around positive people, places, and I laughed a lot because it boosts the immune system. Spiritually, I resorted to prayer, meditation, and counseling. Plus, I had career goals that kept me productive and reaching for a higher heights. Honestly, had I not done those things, 
I firmly believe I would not be speaking to you today. That's right. I said goodbye depression and hello to progression. And if I did it, so can you. Need help? Okay, here are my five grooves to go out of depression into progression. Are you ready to slay? Okay, hit it.